Well, folks, it's time. Time for us to cover a character that you guys have been asking for for a while. A character that Donchi was honestly way too lazy to- Hey! No! You shut your mouth! You see all the videos I've been putting out? I've been working! I'm out here, boy! I'm hustling! Ah, you're right. I see you out here. You are working. I'm proud of you, bro. Wait, really? Yeah, man, you really shooting for that 100k. Ah, uh, thanks, Conscious. That, that really means a lot, man, for real. Like, I really appreciate that you know I- You're still a bitch, though! Aw, oh, man. Play that intro, son! Yo, don't you? You trying to start this, or...? Nah, you wanna call me a bitch, so why don't you start it? Because bitches go first. You wanna... Mm, you know what? It ain't even worth it. The fam is more important. So, since it's been a minute since we covered an infamous story, here's a little background info. In this world, there are gifted human beings known as conduits. These guys are able to manipulate unique forms of matter. Like the realest conduit of them all, Cole, who was able to manipulate electricity, among other things. But you know how the world gets when people start doing stuff that can't be explained. Regular folks start wiling out. After the events of Infamous 2, these conduits were renamed bioterrorists. And the Department of Unified Protection, aka DUP, aka Duke, was formed to round up all the terrorists for the better good. After all the conduits were round up, because they're not terrorists, the military decided to take over the whole conduit detainment operation. So now the DUP is being phased out. Enter Delson Rowe, the master graffiti artist and self-proclaimed criminal mastermind. Delson is a Native American from the fictional Okomish tribe, so don't go looking it up. The only family he has left is his brother Reggie, who just so happens to be the sheriff, which makes it kind of hard for Delson to partake in his criminal mastermind tactics. After getting another lecture from his brother about tagging, Delson and Reggie witness a crazy military truck crash. This truck contained three conduits, Hank, Abigail, and Eugene. Delson's curious ass decides to take a casual stroll to the accident because there's absolutely nothing sketchy about a freaking military truck crashing. Nah, for real, like my boy could have avoided the whole situation and it would have made complete sense. But I guess some people just can't resist the crazy shit. The only conduit left of the crash is Hank. So Delson tries to do the heroic thing by helping him out. But his heroic act immediately backfires. After Reggie tries to get involved, Hank straight up holds Delson hostage. You see why sometimes it's better to just leave shit alone? Well, good thing he didn't leave the shit alone. Hank activates his powers and Delson tries to stop him. But instead of just stopping him, he absorbs the dude's powers. So now Delson is able to manipulate and absorb smoke, just like Hank can. And just like that, Delson becomes a terrorist. They're conduits, not terrorists. Fine, conduits, damn. Delson is hella confused about what's going on, and Reggie's not helping because he immediately starts treating Delson like someone with the coronavirus. So Delson does the only thing he can do. He goes to find Hank to figure out what the hell is going on. But the Hank chase throws him right into the arms of Brooke Augustine, the leader of the DUP who also happens to be a conduit. Wait. Who hired you? Brooke is able to manipulate concrete, and though that may sound boring as hell, it's actually hella painful. Delson sees Brooke interrogating Hank and is like, I'm not trying to get arrested, so he plays it cool. But Augustine thinks that Hank might have told him some conduit secrets. I'm sorry, what? Like, what was Hank gonna tell this random ass kid that he just met? He doesn't even know him. Like, Augustine, you out here wildin' right now. So after Delson dismisses Augustine's assumptions, the dumbass is like, oh, well, it's kind of funny because aren't you a terrorist too? You are really dumb, for real. So Augustine gets curious and starts torturing my guy with her concrete powers. But Delson is still keeping his mouth shut about what went down. I'm not telling you about my newfound powers, lady. So this nice lady from the Okomish tribe named Betty tries to defend Delson. But Augustine uses this chance to finally break Delson and threatens Betty and the rest of the tribe. So Delson tells her the truth and admits that he somehow caught Hank's conduit powers. But the bitch doesn't believe him and accuses him of lying. So she knocks him out. He wakes up to find the rest of his friends hurt, but no one is getting any better. I mean, one doesn't just heal from getting shanked by concrete. So Delson correctly assumes he has the ability to absorb powers, grabs Reggie and tells him that they need to go to the DUP's base in Seattle, find Augustine, then snatch her powers. Reggie is like, huh? But what are you really gonna do? Delson has powers and you don't. Just follow through. So Delson and Reggie make it to Seattle and immediately start messing with the DUP. They ran around town, slowly limiting their vision around the area. 
Then after some time foiling the dupes' plans, they hear about a conduit serial killer rolling around the streets of Seattle. The brothers are like, well, can't have that. So they go look for the killer. They find out the killer is a girl who only seems to be after drug dealers. Her name is Abigail. She's able to manipulate Neon and she just so happens to be one of the conduits who escaped from that car accident in the beginning of the game. Delson confronts her, they tussle, the Delson touches her and absorbs her Neon powers. And in the process, he gets a look into her past and finds out why she's out here murdering drug dealers. We can't go too in depth with her right now because we're probably gonna talk about her in a future episode of Honest Gaming History, but just know that drug dealers are the reason why her brother got killed. After Delson violates her mind, Reggie gets all crazy and tries to arrest her. Oh, I forgot to mention, Reggie has a bit of a problem with conduits. Like I already told you how he started treating Delson like he had the coronavirus, but he continues to remind Delson that these powers are not a gift, but a curse. Like my guy, that's your bro. How are you gonna treat him different just because he has powers now? So if you're wondering why Reggie was so ready to throw this girl in the slammer, it's partially because he's low key racist towards conduits. And honestly guys, fuck Reggie. So Delson defends Abigail because she's only taking down drug dealers. I mean, technically you shouldn't be out here killing people in the first place, but you know, Reggie can still chill out for a sec. After seeing that his pleas to free her weren't working, Delson gets smart about this. He says that she would be his responsibility and she could help him take down the DUP. Reggie accepts, she accepts, and they form the fuck the DUP squad. Together, Abigail and Delson continue to make Seattle a better place by continuing to destroy the DUP's hold on it and getting rid of drugs in the street. Oh, and Abigail starts crushing hard on Delson. It's adorable, but hella awkward. After some more time, Delson finally confronts Augustine. After she figures out that he somehow got a second power, my man Delson dead asks if he can leech her powers. She's like, you just want me to give you my powers? And he's like, I mean, would it help if I said please? Augustine gets tight, then traps him in concrete. But just when the bad guy's about to win, a random ass angel thing appears and snatches Delson. After he gets dropped off, he gets contacted by some dude named Eugene, who claims that he's a huge fan of Delson. They work together to try and stop a DUP convoy containing a whole bunch of civilians who are suspected of being conduits. But a damaged helicopter slaps Delson right in the face during the rescue. The impact knocks him out for a bit. Then after he wakes up, the suspected civilians are gone. Racist ass Reggie helps him find where the civilians are being held. Delson fights a big ass angel named He Who Dwells. Then he runs to the conduit who took all the civilians and is responsible for all the weird angels he's been seeing. Delson does his power absorption slash mind rape thing. Turns out that this mystery dude is Eugene, and he just so happens to be the third and final conduit who escaped that car crash. Eugene was just your average nerd who got bullied nonstop. One day those bullies drove him too far and he realized he was a conduit who could summon angels and demons. Jesus Christ. The DUP captured him and detained him for six years, forcing him to use and learn his powers. Now he's a conduit freedom fighter just like Delson and Abigail. He didn't capture those civilians for bad reasons, he just wanted to help them escape the clutches of the DUP. But you know Reggie, this bum immediately assumes that my boy Eugene is a threat. Leave the kid alone, bruh. Delson defends the conduit and calls Reggie out on his racist bullshit. Reggie accepts his wishes, then Delson tries to convince Eugene to join the good fight. Eugene starts off too scared to leave his conduit cave, but eventually decides to help out the fuck the DUP squad. Oh, and Delson now has the power to summon angels and demons too. He was already kind of broken, but now he's like a smoke wielding, neon shooting, angel summoning Jesus. Later, Delson finds out that Hank, the guy that Delson snatched his smoke powers from, is out here rampaging around the streets, making him look bad. Delson decides to confront Hank so he could also join the fuck the DUP squad. I mean, he's already out here killing dupe soldiers, so he might as well. Hank puts their pass aside and joins Delson in his band of rogue conduits. Hank informs Delson that both Eugene and Abigail were captured by the DUP, so they group up with Reggie to save the captured conduits. But just like I'm sure you guys assume when they decided to join forces, Hank can't be trusted. It turns out the smoking ball sack was working for Augustine this whole time. So the concrete queen gets a jump on Delson and captures him. But Reggie shows up with a freaking rocket launcher and blasts Augustine. Augustine. All right, Reggie, maybe you're not so bad after all. But then Augustine gets tight and kills Reggie. Damn, Justin, I was starting to like the guy. So Delson rages the hell out and gets in a full on superpower fight with Augustine. The battle gets so wild that the island they're on collapses. Delson wakes up after the island's collapse and immediately chases the prick who betrayed him, Hank. He finds him and discovers that the DUP has Hank's daughter. That's why he pulled that dick move before. Delson spares a guy because he ain't worth it. Then he sets his sights on Augustine. He regroups with the rest of his super friends and they storm Augustine's base. Once he confronts her, he finds out that Augustine actually set up that whole crash in the beginning of the game. Augustine has been capturing conduits to protect them from the mobs who are after them. That's noble, I guess, in a really twisted and messed up way. Augustine then confides in Delson and actually tries to reason with the dude. She even has the gall to try and convince him to join her. Delson dubs her shit and they fight, 
with Delsa standing victorious. Delsa absorbs her powers and does this whole I'm gonna look into your past thing. Turns out that Augustine used to be from the military. Seven years ago, the military was at war with the conduits and she ended up getting turned into one. With her conduit powers active and the world in complete chaos due to the fear of conduits, Augustine decides to be the one to protect the conduits in her own twisted way by capturing them. I mean, you had good intentions, lady, but you can't just be out here capturing people, bruh. Unless she made like an Xavier school for the gifted, but for conduits. Now that I can get behind. So Augustine gets up and refuses to let Delson free all the conduits she captured. They fight again and Delson wins, again, using her own power against her. That's some pretty gangsta shit. With Augustine down, the fuck the DUP squad take down the DUP, expose Augustine for the twisted conduit that she is, then free all the conduits who were captured. With Augustine's powers, he heals the rest of the Akomas tribe and spray paints the same billboard he did in the beginning of the game with a memorial for his brother. And with that, the story of Delson Bannerman Rowe comes to a sad but very fulfilling end. Honestly, this was a really good story. I kind of wish there was more reasoning as to how the humans just stopped being scared of the conduits, but you know, every story has its faults. Either way, Delson is a dope ass character with some dope ass powers. I see why you guys wanted me to cover him so bad. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching this new episode of Honest Gaming History. I really appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys were waiting for it. Well, it's here. You can be happy now. I hope you're happy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like because it helps the channel out a lot. Let's see if we can get to 2,000 likes in 24 hours. We didn't nail it last time, but let's see if we can get it this time. I don't know. It's Honest Gaming History. You guys usually nail it with Honest Gaming History, so let's see if y'all can do it. I believe in y'all. Comment who else you want to see me cover in future episodes of Honest Gaming History. And share this with all your friends, specifically those who are super into Infamous because I'm sure they would love this. And don't forget to check out Nami where they're having a huge sale on all their season one items. So you should probably go to their website like right now, like right now, right now. The shit's probably gonna run out fast so you don't want to miss out. So if you like their stuff, check it out. Now is the best time to get some of their season one stuff like this Naruto puffer jacket, the Deku tracksuit, the Akita um, puffer jacket, a whole bunch of dope stuff. So check out their website, see what you like, buy some stuff. You guys on the deal. And with that being said, be easy, stay lit, and take care. And don't forget, you can do whatever the fuck you put your mind to. All you need is practice and time. Peace out, y'all.